Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Econ 202, Principles of Microeconomics. Uh, well, unfortunately, I wish we could be doing this in person, but, well, we got a worldwide pandemic, so yay. Um, I just want to spend uh, this short video going through uh, the syllabus, highlighting a couple of important things um, to, uh, to note. As soon as it loads, there we go. <clears throat> so the syllabus, which you can see on Blackboard, um, just a couple of key things. One, my name, uh, name. Email is going to be very, very important, uh, especially if we're not having in-person meetings uh, this half semester. Um, I do, in theory, have a mailbox on campus. It's unclear how often this will be used, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the days that we do meet on campus, we will be meeting in the Student Center, uh, H250. Uh, until then, we're going to be having uh, some video chats like this. Um, Wednesdays, 5 to 8, I'm going to uh, be holding for lack of a better word, video lectures. They will be recorded like this one. Uh, so if you miss a session or because you're at home and it's noisy, whatever, you can't attend, it's not the end of the world. The videos will be both on YouTube uh, and uh, Blackboard here. Uh, one thing I want to point out, um, in, this, uh, in this class, you are entitled to respect above all else. If you feel I am not respecting you or there is some issue going on, uh, I ask first that you come talk to me. Uh, if you do not feel comfortable talking to me, however, you can also contact my boss, the chair of the department, uh, Dr. Wilson. Her email uh, is going to be the best way, especially since campus is uh, shut down. But uh, she is my boss. She will happily take care of any issues that come up. Hopefully there won't be any, but just in case. Um, for those of you who had me for uh, macroeconomics, uh, you might recall that we talked a lot about um, you know, the nation as a whole or the entire world. Now we're going to be focusing really on individual consumers, individual firms, uh, companies, we mean by that. Um, and we're going to be talking about what is commonly called price theory uh, or how do prices come about and uh, what effects do they have? Um, we do have two textbooks. Um, for those of you who had me in the past, uh, these should look familiar to you. Uh, the first textbook is Principles of Microeconomics, Open Stacks, which is available free online. The other is Universal Economics by Armin Alchin and William Allen, also available online. Both of these uh, are free, absolutely no cost, uh, no monetary cost to you. Um, and both of them are available via the link, uh, via the links on the syllabus, um, here and here. Uh, of course, if you want hard copies of the books, you're welcome to, to buy them, but it's not necessary. The only the principles of my of uh, microeconomics that is a typo in the in the syllabus it should say micro not macroeconomics um, is our only required textbook universal economics it's a it's a uh, recommended reading it's to, it goes into a lot more detail than we're going to need in this class the book itself is almost seven hundred pages long. Um, that's really more than you need unless you're going on to be uh, economists. Uh, but if you're interested, it's a good, uh, good way to learn more about some of the mechanisms of what we're going to be talking about. A lot of my lectures will come from universal economics uh, and build off of um, the OpenStax Principles of Microeconomics book. Uh, but your homework, your chapter questions are going to come from the Principles of Microeconomics book. Since this is a seven and a half week uh, course, we actually have eight weeks if you include the final exam. One thing that I will make heavy use of is student success alerts. Uh, if you fall behind in these classes, uh, it can be problematic. 
uh, it's very easy to fall quickly behind. We're going to flow through this material. This week alone, we're covering two chapters of, open, of the OpenStax book. Uh, and if you fall behind, it can be problematic. So I make sure I make use of the student success alerts to let you know, hey, uh, I'm missing assignments here. Something's going on. I hope when I use them, you come talk to me and we can set up some sort of plan. If you don't talk to me, I can't do anything and I have to fail you if you're missing assignments. I don't like to fail students and it's actually surprisingly hard to fail my class if you actually do the work. If you don't do the work, you cannot pass my class. It's as simple as that. Um, there are several key assignments. There will be two exams, uh, a midterm and a final exam. Uh, in theory, the midterm is going to be done at the proctoring uh, center. That is currently up in the air because of uh, all these, um, because the college is closed down. Um, I will be in constant contact with you as I er learn more details. Um, there's going to be a final paper. It's not going to be a research style paper the way that it was in macroeconomics, um, but more of a um, more of a can apply this to real life sort of paper. Uh, right there, 40% of your grade, 45% uh, of your grade. There are going to be weekly Blackboard quizzes that will be due before each class uh, covering the previous week's material. They're 15% uh, total. Online uh, discussion boards on Blackboard, so that's another 20% of your grade. Uh, and finally, chapter review questions. Uh, at the end of every chapter in the OpenStax textbook, uh, there's going, there's a section called review questions. Uh, you are to uh, write those up and put them on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Blackboard. Uh, you don't need to do the critical thinking questions. You don't need to do the problem solving, just the review questions. <clears throat> Codes of uh, conduct. You know, nothing really uh, new here. If you haven't already, please take this pledge. It's just a way of saying that you're not going to cheat. Whole bunch of resources available to you. Unfortunately, not a whole lot on campus because it is shut down. Uh, but uh, if you resources, there are some available. Also on Blackboard, there is an, uh, a link called Useful Links. Uh, on there, uh, you will find links to uh, different places to help you with the material. And of course, I'm always available here. One thing I want to um, mention, as I have already, late assignments will be penalized five points per day that they're late and will not accept it, be accepted after seven days for grading. I am going to be pretty hard and fast on this. Um, because it's very easy to fall behind. However, that said, lives are busy. We're in an, in an unusual period in human history. If something comes up, please talk to me and we can work, uh, we can work out details. Uh, if you don't talk to me, I have to fail you. And that is in a position I don't want. Um, we are, uh, I am expecting a decent amount of time, about 13 and a half hours per week. That's a part-time job. There, a lot of work goes into this, um, so please try and uh, stay on top of things. This email communication is very important given the situation that we are in. Um, I can only communicate to you through uh, my Frederick Community College email, and I can only communicate to you to your Frederick Community College email. That is a law that is out of my control. Uh, please check your email every single day, if not multiple times a day, to make sure that you have uh, the most up-to-date information. Um, stuff will also be posted on Blackboard. Uh, but if you aren't checking and something is going on, you're going to miss out. Uh, given that we are not having face-to-face -face meetings, uh, currently, at least for the next two weeks, who knows how much longer. Uh, email communication is going to be vital. It's going to be absolutely vital. Um, any make updates, uh, we'll uh, see what happens and go from there. The topical outline, I just want to highlight how to read this real quick. Uh, so for each week, this week is starting uh, 
tomorrow, the 18th, tomorrow from the day I'm recording this, um, there's always going to be a lecture title. This lecture title uh, is also going to be the session title that you see when you log on to Blackboard Collaborate. Um, I tell you, I'm going to say which chapters we're covering. In this case, chapters one and two of OpenStax. There are also important due dates. Uh, for example, your discussion board posts uh, are due by the end of the day, Friday, March 20th. Uh, your quizzes, chapter questions, and discussion board responses, so responses to other classmates, are due by 5 p.m. Wednesday. Um, since we're in uh, some unprecedented situations, I'm not going to be super hard and fast about this 5 p.m. Uh, rule, but they are still due the 25th. Um, any optional, so the optional readings from Universal Economics are going to be listed here. Again, you won't be you won't be explicitly quizzed on that, uh, although my lectures pull from uh, from that material, um, and you will be quiz uh, quizzed and uh, graded on what is in my lectures. So these are important. You're going to see this repeat multiple times. A couple of key uh, dates. The midterm is going to take place, in theory, in the testing center on April 15th. Of course, I will keep you up to date on that. The day itself won't change where it will. Uh, the final exam is on the 13th, uh, and the final paper is due the next day by the end of the day. So that's the syllabus in, the, in a nutshell. Take, a time, take your time to look over it. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to this semester. We'll navigate it together. Please reach out to me with questions that you have as soon as possible uh, so that we can get the necessary help. Uh, take care, everyone, and uh, I'll see you uh, online.